What's up guys, John here and welcome back to John Moon Studios. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can separate your MIDI notes from a drum track. Let's get right to it. So here I have a drum groove using SSD5. I'm going to go ahead and play it and then I'm going to show you how we can separate each of these drums into their own MIDI track without having to delete the master track. So let's go ahead and check out what the groove sounds like. So we want to make sure that we preserve all of these notes and not have to copy and paste this and then delete what you don't want for each. Because in the mixing stage, you want to be able to mix each of these drums individually and not as a whole. So let's go ahead and dissolve this part. That's what Cubase calls it. We're going to dissolve this MIDI track into its own separate, you know, MIDI tracks, each drum hit. So this only works generally for drums when you open up the MIDI track for drums. All the sounds are on specific pitches. So C1 triggers the kick drum. Uh, this is G sharp one triggers the hi-hat. And they're usually standard there. The only thing that will change is the velocity on how you hit it. But essentially the notes or the sounds would be on those specific MIDI notes. So if you do it like on a string patch, it's going to be a little bit confusing because you have more melodic activity and it won't work that well. So let's figure out how we dissolve this into different MIDI tracks. It's super simple and very quick. So let's go ahead and go to where it says MIDI and then go to dissolve part. That's it. It's going to separate them into pitches and then you can leave optimized display. We're gonna go ahead and let Cubase do its thing, load up, and you're gonna see that it's going to separate all of my MIDI notes into, first of all, into their own track, but they're also gonna tell you what notes that you were using there. Of course, since I know this is my drum sample, my C1 is gonna be my kick, my G sharp one is gonna be my hi-hat, so on and so forth. And you can organize all of these things and rename them so this could be kick, this could be your hi-hat, so on and so forth. So once you rename it, now we can go ahead and just kind of check out to see if the, the groove actually preserved all of the notes that I have written in. Another cool thing is that it automatically mutes the MIDI track, the master MIDI track. You don't need to do it. If you want to unmute it, then you click this X here or hit the number seven on your keyboard. You can also right click on an empty part of the screen and just turn that back on. Right now we're gonna leave it off so we can hear the separate stems on their different tracks to see if it preserved a groove. So that is the very simple way to dissolve your parts into different MIDI tracks. Now you can go into the mixing stage and you can EQ and compress any part of the drums that you like without having to affect the entire kit. This is usually how it's done in a professional setting and you have more control over how you want the drum kit to sound. If you have any questions throughout this video, just go ahead and leave your comments down below and I'll get to them as soon as possible. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe. Don't forget to turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my new videos. Also, don't forget to check out the John Moon Studios store. I have a variety of merch with the official John Moon Studios logo on it, so go ahead and check it out. Also down below, I'm going to link my Patreon. For as little as a dollar a month, you can help support this channel, and I would greatly appreciate the support. As always, don't forget to share with your musician friends. I'll see you guys soon.